my name is Mohammad Yagar. I am I was born in Muradabad. It's a town in UP, and I'm trained in architecture from Jamia Media Islamia, New Delhi. And after that, I've I've been working for a year, and plus I've been working on some freelance projects also. I majorly heard about. Uh, this interdisciplinary approach uh, as I was searching for a master's program and then uh, one of my senior also uh, went, th went through this program and that's how I came to know. I thought that it would give me some space to uh, to uh, to uh, train me in my practice which I want to practice later after the UFP so in some cases uh, like I'm already an uh, I will say a practitioner in the field but uh, my practice will become more sustainable in a sense because I will look through different different angles and lenses of uh, maybe identity and uh, economics and governance also It was good, in a sense that uh, things need to be uh, keep running. In in even in the case of pandemic, we cannot stop. But uh, like, obviously, like uh, face to face or uh, or offline classes are more good in terms of learning. Yeah, I like the rental housing elective very much. It was like a very good elective. And uh, when I when we were taught uh, identity in commons, that was very good. And also the pe people coming from different backgrounds and like, interacting with each other and uh, sharing their lenses and views on the same problem on the on the same issue that you are working on. In some electives or some courses subjects, uh, the uh, we didn't get in. Uh, time to deep dive much so maybe uh, uh, maybe a specific mapping of p courses that people want to uh, pursue in their in their UFP program that would be like very good rental housing because uh, my interests also align with that all firstly and then the way of teaching and the uh, the 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 framework and the basically the structure of the course in a, in a, in in a week, in a time of two weeks uh, it was like uh, very good yeah practica was good uh, especially for for people who have not been in field I've been field almost my whole uh, bachelor's and uh, yeah it was uh, but the but the good thing was pra with practica was like it was a whole it was a balanced thing of people coming from different backgrounds so you cannot just see if if for example if architects are going to the field and mm, and observing something and and building up something so the grounded theory uh, the but we will see only the built environment or something but in case of in in this scenario but it was very different like people from different uh, disciplines, from different views coming together. If we are uh, seeing a city, then like the planner's approach is very plan oriented. They they see everything from the top. And uh, if I see, uh, I can connect. Uh, like I've been connecting. Like I can connect identity identity with the neighborhood. Why a neighborhood is poor or why the neighborhood is lacking behind. Um, so yeah, identity is very. Uh, it's crucial and also uh, also the maybe I'm very interested in the persecution uh, how the history of persecution of uh, communities and how it, it, it affects the present condition and the present basically the built environment of the community uh, communities they are living in and the socio-economic background Uh, because uh, for it's a it's a it's a it's a collective thing uh, because not all the people are coming here they are coming uh, from different 
backgrounds and they are not all field oriented i'll say so it's important to have a look and develop based on the field based on the grounded theory right now i'm working on a shelter needs assessment and then your security of rohingya refugees in bangalore so where i'm looking where i'm assessing the shelter their shelter needs uh, through a uh, through a through an assessment or or you can say a survey in a, in a much simpler language uh, so based on that i will design uh, upgrade shelter kits for example most of the people uh, they they have the they have a problem with their flooring of the of their shelter because every every two months they have to repair it they have to put the mud back and uh, com and compact it and so so the shelter upgrade kit will look like a certain material that they that that they need and maybe i will try to propose it to some ngos or something so that, so that uh, they can upgrade their shelters and also the basically i'm also looking at the de facto tenure security of refugees living in india because uh, as we don't have any framework for refugees for their housing for their education provided provided by the government so it's it's they are living in in hardship in very hard and it's like they are they are the most persecuted minority in the world as and still they are facing the same problems yeah i can i can see a problem with different angles and maybe act towards it more sustainably i'll say uh looking at i will not say that only this will happen i will also say that this could happen and combining this for example i will i will also uh, see that try to uh, assess the economic aspect of the of the issue for example if if i'm building something or if i'm working with some community i will, I will see the economic aspect i will see um, the regulatory aspect that whether it can be done or not so in that sense yeah i have uh, got many lenses to see and it, it it will make ultimately my practice more sustainable